Good morning, everybody, or afternoon, or whatever. Today, I thought I'd do a little bit of a tutorial series for reassembly, specifically a tutorial series on the sandbox feature of reassembly. You can get to the sandbox right here in the menu. All right. In the beginning was the command line, and the command line is this box up here. <laughs> This is effectively where you enter in all of the commands you will ever need to do. However, there are some other commands you can do that aren't really linked to the command line. If you press the numbers 2, 3, or 4, you will change UI modes. Now, what are UI modes? Simply, these are the different systems that the editor has for you to interact with the ships physically with your mouse, alright? So command mode. I'll have to show you command mode when we get some ships up and running. But for now, what you, all you need to really be concerned about is construction mode. Now construction mode effectively allows you to use the sandbox like an editor. Effectively, you get to play with all the blocks and any blocks and any ships that you have. You can literally break bits off of them or throw them around. <laughs> so the first command you're going to want to quickly learn is help. Help will give you a nice long list of all the information you'll ever need to actually do anything here. <sighs> Sorry, I'm apologetic. My dogs are... Gino boy, what you doing? Yeah. My dogs are going crazy. <laughs> now, in here, you can do everything that you can in the editor as well. Well, not the editor the ship constructor. So, I can copy blocks, I can paste blocks, I can take blocks, I can make them smaller or bigger, smaller, bigger, I can also rotate them exactly like I could usually. I can also select an entire area, press delete and annihilate it. Alright? Basics of construction. And plant, I haven't really figured out plant. <laughs> so, I'll leave that alone. Alright, getting back to the help screen. This gives you everything you'll ever really need to know. Specifically, the thing you're going to want to look for is agent. Agent? I will find the all other ones. Palette, palette. Where's palette? Alright. So, agent, activate, palette, fleet, deactivate, and a couple of other things you will need for building a ship in the sandbox. We're talking about a multi-faction ship here, not a normal one. Now unfortunately, you can't really design a ship in here as you would in the normal campaign. Instead, you have to effectively do this system of dragging these bits around and flobbling them. Now this is dangerous because you could effectively blow up everything. As you notice, these blocks are taking damage because they are currently touching. So keep in mind that this is not a safe environment. <laughs> it's useful, but it's not safe. Alright. So the first thing we're going to do is P-A-L-E-T-T-E. Pallet. The next thing is a number. Now, the number refers to the specific num numerical designation of the factions in the game. So, one, there is no one. Two, there is a two. Two, by the way, is the plant faction. Three is the good old red faction. <laughs> Four is the blue faction. The cannoneers, the guys with the good old plasma cannons. Ballot five are all of the neutral plant faction blocks. So if you wanted to build the plant, this is where you go. And six, and seven, and so on and so forth. Palette 8 is the palette of the normal player faction, the first one you ever get access to, aka the Terrans. Now you'll notice me double clicking here to move what would appear to be a little black, a little black, <laughs> a little blue circle. This little blue circle is the spawning zone of these commands. If I would click over here and once again do palette, this will be plopped over here. It doesn't apply to your cursor because obviously your cursor has to be up here for you to interact with the text box. Also, if your cursor is in the text box, you can't do anything. You can't move. All you can do is type. It's useful, actually. 
that is simply a double click one two and there your sil your focus area i should call it a focus area is moved all right so now we have all these different bits how do we start building a ship <laughs> well each palette has a command module in it or should the bees well not the bees but the flies have a little <laughs> sensora that's what they call their command system the the blue guys have their command control the reds have their nexus and so on and so forth what you want to do is you want to grab a command console the con ah, <laughs> command console a command pod of your choice anyone will work it doesn't matter the thing is different command sent command modules have different attributes therefore not therefore but for example if i wrong one it's faction 15 no it's actually what how am i getting lost here there is no nine there is no ten either i'm sorry i, I don't have all of the factions memorized but actually this will this will do for now the sentinels the sentinels command module generates its own power now if you want to make a specifically overpowered ship you would use one of these or possibly some or possibly the b factions control command center which also has the exact same tributes i already checked uh i think the b faction has slightly more health no actually this one has more health so for today i'm going to use this because it is far more fun <laughs> now we're going to want to make some block selections now be careful and don't actually click and drag any of these blocks or anything actually you're going to want to hold down alt and click and drag to copy the block otherwise you will lose it and you'll have to spawn in the pallet again and trust me spawning in multiple pallets to build a ship is uh, tedious to say anything now the moment you you attach a block to a command center center this whole thing instantly becomes effectively a ship all right i could take this type activate and this ship is effectively alive to deactivate a ship to pause it deactivate now deactivate and activating a ship is very important if say you wanted to add to edit for example one of the custom ugh, custom one of the default factions in reassembly for example here are the farmers these little guys are going to just frolic around aimlessly because there's no actual resources for them to harvest at this point <laughs> or any asteroids to really make plants unless they just shoot at each other and shoot at each other with their plant guns you know what i mean <laughs> now say i wanted to add edit this little guy now i can drag select him <laughs> and also pull a little bit off of his buddy but yes, I can drag select him and throw him over here. But he's going to move around. I can pull parts off of him, but he's going to rebuild himself. And if I do actually add bits onto him, they are going to deconstruct. So that's not useful. What you're going to want to do is select your little guy, type deactivate, and that will turn him off. That will disengage his AI, and he will effectively forget what he's built out of. This gives you a nice old kind of a blank slate an empty canvas to work on deactivation i'm talking about deactivation will just make the thing go quiet and even if i do pull these bits off it will not rebuild it's effectively dead so if i were to <laughs> kind of put him to sleep and uh, mess with his innards and then turn him on again Also, you can use the up and down arrow keys to quickly scroll between your previous commands. Activate. If I activate him now, as you see, he's not rebuilding any bits. He did grab some bits, but that's due to the normal AI, the normal AI's approach of grabbing bits and just chucking them on itself. <laughs> so he will stay like this, and, even, and if I edit him now, he will still rebuild himself. The moment you activate a ship, you've effectively said, okay, that's how I want it built. If I if anything comes off of you, you're rebuilding yourself, right? Good. <laughs> and deactivating something is effectively telling it, wait, I want to edit you. <laughs> so we're going to deactivate this little guy. We're going to bring him over here. I'm going to name you Frankenbot. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, and now, look at the glorious palettes. Now, you can add whatever you want from any faction, anywhere, of any sort, of any size to, to this ship. It will not care. You can, you can exceed the P limit, the power limit of the ship as much as you want. It will make no effect. <laughs> but please bear in mind that the normal f factoids of reassembly do play in. You will require power and you will require thrusters. <laughs> Once you're fine with your Frankenstein concoction, <laughs> you may activate it simply by se via selecting it and typing in activate. Now, I don't want to do that because I don't necessarily want to type in deactivate again. I want to find the most viable thrusters. Now, since we are using a multi-faction ship, I don't have to use one faction's thrusters, which means I can go and find the most powerful ones. <laughs> What's the difference between these ones? I've forgotten. Thrust or vector you want. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> now, for me, it's the B faction. They have the most powerful Blimmin thrusters in the game. So, pallet. 16, I think. I'm not too sure. <laughs> uh, here I am giving a tutorial, and I don't even know. No, 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 no. It's, isn't it faction 5? I mean, 6. What? Where? Where's my B faction gone? Where have they gone? This is most concerning. All right, I'll be back. I'll be right back. Um, I'm going crazy. <laughs> All right, so I finally found my lovable bees. Uh, the fa faction 12, by the way, which is exactly the amount of time I've so far spent on this recording. If I make this any longer than this, everything will die, and I will never be able to upload this. All right, so you will also notice <laughs> station command co station commands from most of the factions including this faction. The only two factions that have station commands would be the B faction and the Terran, unless I'm forgetting myself. I could be. No, I'm not good. <laughs> so these two station commands are a little bit different. All right, this station command, I will actually plop them together you can notice the power generation difference. This one generates tons of power, but it has a massive mass. This is a very small mass and generates a little more power. It also generates resources. This one doesn't, so I would use this one. Also, this one can die. This one can as well, but it's a little more hacky. <laughs> so you may... Oh, also you may add on as many command cons command modules and station modules and things as you want. There is no limit to anything, except your imagination. But that's not limited, is it? <laughs> okay, so now that I have my B faction, let's grab some impulses and some maneuverings. <laughs> it's going to be a little tutorial on the B faction as well. Let's give it... No, 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 no. You stop being crazy. Alright, let's give it some thrust. It's a vectored thrust. Alright. That's enough to let it do most everything. Now all we do is we select it, we type activate, and boom, it's alive. <laughs> now, say you wanted to use this command thing. All I do is right click over there, and it's going to move over there. <laughs> what are you doing, buddy? The command console, uh, command console, the, com the command feature for any of you who play strategy games effectively lets you order the little guys around. Now, you should be friendly with these guys since you were made from one of them. Yes, you are. <laughs> Run through them, my little creation. Destroy what you once loved. No, please don't. <laughs> Unfortunately, if you do create something like this, Ah, deactivate. 
it's not necess it's not going to attack the things that it used to be friendly with since it still has that command but the moment i remove that command i wonder no you're still friendly all right <laughs> by the way if you press 1 I forgot, sorry, but one allows you to fly the ships and lets you shoot them and do whatever you want. <laughs> one lets you fly things. Two is your command, three is your construct, and four is your plant. I cannot remember what plant does, so I'm sorry. <laughs> it's also just because I just don't know. But yes, we have now created a little Frankenstein machine. You can now select it. Come back here, come back here. You can select it, clone it clone as millions of them as you want and then if you're happy with it if you think ah, it's good it's good simply type export and then the name of the ship you want so Frank the Stein and then your name which for me is Lapsanow <laughs> well Laps app now but that doesn't matter. And now, if it, as long as it says OK over here, you are good to go. And now you have a, you should have a little ship on your desktop. <laughs> All right, and that basically, and that sums up this basic multi-faction ship construction tutorial for now. If you wish to import a ship, simply type import and the root of wherever you want it to go and look. Also, you can import your own faction ships. So if I go agent 13 agent by the way does not mean um a ship that was not constructed for you um does not constructed by you agent in the ed in the sandbox refers to your campaign ships so for me i have the lsn the last stand navy if i were to type agent one oh no that's zorzak why is zorzak here zorzak you're, inter you're infringing upon valued space by the way Sorry, I forgot. I was getting excited. But the agent, the agent numbering starts from zero. So zero is your first faction. For me, that is the... <laughs> uh, I forgot I made you, buddy. How can I forget you? Also, be warned that having construct mode is very laggy because it will show the individual blopples and stuff. So if you would like to simply watch a war, go into command mode. <laughs> and all of your stuff about... So yes, typing agent and then the number of the corresponding slot in your campaign saves will spawn in that ship of your selection. And now, as a little bit of a <laughs> fun insanity, let's command these guys to go run into each other. And we're going to watch the ZZ and the LSN fight it out one last time. So yes, until next time, cheerio.